Um, so, uh, d does so I'm, do you see my screen right now? Does it look yep. normal? Okay. Right. So I know sometimes on the bigger one, you're sharing from a bigger screen to a laptop, it just comes out kind of funny. Sometimes. All right, hey, what's up, guys? Hey, Anton. Oh, man, I just got really nice conversation with the, the guy. Perfect fit for the job, and we're engaging for volunteering. Nice. And the guy has nice data engineering experience. Just what we need for full literature review pipeline, I just shared him with, with this page. So hopefully, you know, we'll get him on board on this. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's really about, like, pulling people out of the, uh, this... Uh, sleeping volunteer coma, let's yes. say. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so I had down on, on um, for uh, the agenda to go through quickly. So Notion, um, mm -hmm. just uh, whether or not to start steering people towards it and spend time um, getting more familiar with the tool, um, and then to talk about getting a free account so that we don't end up charging Anton, um, a ridiculous so, amount uh, of money. Go let ahead. me kind of uh, clarify what, what's this. So my personal account, I was like early adoption of Notion, and my so I have like this free team account. Uh, so I'm, I could add like lots of members, and it looks like so I won't like I won't be charged for them. The question is, do we want to like? I mean, we could do this, but then, like, what kind of triggers me a little bit when we share all of these documents, and since it's like Anton Polishka account, there's like a huge, my name in this link, which is kind yeah. of, doesn't sound like it's the right way eventually, right? So we will need right. to have an account. And now here is the kind of the questions. Do, like, we need to discuss. Do we want to stack with another third party tool like Slack, right? And eventually, maybe we'll need to pay for all of this. Yeah. And uh, to me, like what I was exploring was Notion was just simply this. I kind of saw, okay, we could have a couple of members like admins to, to set up all of these workspaces, etc. But since when you have this team account, you have unlimited uh, amount of guest accounts that are free. So I'm like, you know what? That's exactly what we need. We have a couple of people who are like, organizing everything that i don't even know like what is a big difference between guest and a member at this point apart with what you matan discovered that oh you can't tag guests you know yeah. in documents so which that, is yeah. sorry which is kind of handy but i think if we could limit this to only admins or like you know those people who are like organizing that do housekeeping on notion then i think we could have like a dozen of people at most in total for for this type of stuff but everybody else is just the guest and they're contributing etc i like honestly i don't really want to rely on notion to get notifications about something you know all, all these tags or, or, right you get my point so like i think we could do the way it's set up right now and then apply for this open source account and even if it will be paid if it's like 10 people and you need to pay instead of like five bucks, like two bucks, I think we'll be in a good spot. So that's kind of my thought, like this contextual thoughts on how I see Notion as a tool and et cetera. So I think it's useful. All of this basic toggle things we could export as HTML. This is what I personally like about it. All of this complexity of Notion that has there as well. Like I, I have still question marks. Do we need to use it? Is it is it actually useful to learn like how to use that like login uh, tables or something, et cetera. So I'm, I'm really excited to, to follow what you Matan is doing in, in that regard. Yeah, so, notion beast mode. Yes. So like, kind of. oh my God, this guy's yeah. knows what's up. And I'm actually yeah. learning from you, <laughs> even well, though it same. sounds like I'm telling you something that I, I'm just observing. Yeah, and, and and my apologies for getting a little bit crazy in that channel. Um, but it was like like you know I started I, I started checking out Notion like maybe three or four months ago, and then it just seemed super complex. And I was like, all right, I'm going to table this. It's just I can't deal with it right now. And then um, after our, our call yesterday, I just watched the first two videos on Notion's 
like training um, videos. So the first one was like uh -huh. eight minutes. The second one was 13 minutes. And I highly, I, I, I really suggest that, that you guys check it out. I put, okay. I put them on one point, 1.75 or two point speed. Um, mm -hmm. You know, then and then pause or and go back um, for whatever you th you uh, think was important that you missed. But I got a lot out of it. And then after that, I found a guy that has um, he um, he's built like a lot of uh, what do you call it? They're crazy like production um, like Notion guys or whatever. So like they basically create a, a giant meeting place. Um, actually, let me go. So. Um, he's got like one thing and I haven't even started. You could buy it for like a few hundred dollars. I just decided to watch the video and start building it myself. Um, mm -hmm. So anyway, I started to build this for the meetings to record the meetings. So my thought process was, okay, do we, do we want like our own uh, centralized hub, right? A place that we can all go and um, where, where we have all of our resources instead of having, a, 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 you know, everything um, uh, in disparate terms, right? So we're using sheets for this and, and uh, docs for that and Slack for this and this, you know. So I was thinking, okay, can we, can we, can we um, make, make um a place where we're not so frenzied right to to put everything mm -hmm. together and be and be organized right i mean that's uh to me that is um that's a, a huge issue especially when we're, we're dealing with the complexities that we are right now in in corona wise so to to um help organize everything and keep it neat and clean to me is is very important um so i guess before i go through this back to your first your earlier uh point on you know, Notion versus Slack. So, um, the the reason, well, okay. So two things: the different, the two differences that I found thus far between being a member and um, being a guest is that members have access to an entire workspace, whereas guests have access to just a single page. So, for example, uh -huh. uh, um, Alex. Um, so Alex, when you he has access to just uh, this one page rather than everything else here. In this so unless he has a link, right? And then when he opens the link first time, then it gets adds to... So the way it works is, if you want to set somebody up as a member, you have to go up here to settings and members. Mm -hmm. um, and then only and only admins can do it, can do this. So add member, you know, then you finish. If you want to um, bring somebody in as a guest, and this this would be great even, let's say that we want to bring people from Camarades or another mm -hmm. another team, you can share the page by going up here to the top right. So yes. this is pr probably what was done for for Alex. Um, so so that that difference. And then, for example, I wanted to go um, to the here. I was reading through this, and I was I wanted to uh, communicate with you and Alex on something. So I started with um, you know at Anton. Uh huh. Okay. So you um, see, because I'm a member. Right, and but then, then I, Alex, Alex is not there. Right, I, I can't see. do it for Alex. So you know, it's not. I mean, it's not the end of the world, right? But mm -hmm. my thinking was, if we simply, uh, if if we simply apply for this free account, I mean, it's free. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe I don't, I don't know if maybe in six months a year they'll say, hey, guess what, guys, we're transitioning. We're 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 not paying. We're not letting you have this for free anymore you owe us a billion dollars next week i don't know right i mean if it happens we'll deal with it then but my thinking is yeah um, i'd love to get to a place where we can be um sent uh, where we can have one central hub you know mm -hmm. like we like we talked about yesterday um and it's like right now even if people go to slack it's like okay starting this channel but you know the the videos, right? We talk, We started talking about okay, we can post a video and just or or the the document, but have it reoccurring, you know. With this, we could just say okay, so here's a home base, and we've got contacts, resources. Um, we can have like camarade, camarades, other people here. So uh, this is all. I just kind of did it quick and dirty, but um, mm -hmm. you know. And then like we talked about yesterday, we can have. Okay, somebody comes and they say, "Okay, I want to work with NLP, or I want to work with Time Series, or so on and so forth." So, you know, and this, this is great. The meetings, everything here, right? So, my 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 thinking was to build this out like like you know guerrilla mode, right? Um, mm -hmm. And then in the meetings, so 
this is so th I did this one just for the meeting yesterday and we can create templates. So, um, all right. So, so for example, I go here, I'll open it as a full page. Now let's say moving forward, I can make this entire thing into a template. Okay. Uh -huh. So, um, and all right. So daily call. So date, you know, some of these things are, are superfluous, right? Don't need that. But then we can, we can talk with each other a little bit here with discussions. I can put reminders for for to get for everybody to get from here, so that you know Arthur doesn't have to constantly post every single day. You know, meeting in 15 minutes, we can just put the link here, and everybody just go themselves every day at you know whatever your local time is. So, uh, our, so our meeting, the purpose, whatever resources, the agenda, um, and here I just dummied in. You know, that yesterday we talked about um, so re the topic was to restart general meetings, yes or no. You know. Um, this is quite extensive. Jerry, yeah. yeah, this is well, this is pretty amazing stuff, right? So, so here is like my, my few quick thoughts over here. Uh, I'm kind of like also using for my personal stuff all of this like tables, but not to this extent of like templates for this and that, which is yeah. so. My one part of my brain, I like it a lot. Like with this obsession of organ, you know, organizing. Yeah. But what another part of my brain is essentially this? Okay, this. We're getting to the territory of being vendor locked by by notion you know it's kind of like oh we're committing to notion uh for example like uh, if you can go for you know like so because there are two routes for example we could do these meetings in this format essentially notion this infrastructure on top of markup language that they create right or we could do so uh, matan can you go to like full literature review pipeline and then uh, is there like, oh no, let's, can, can you see fibrosis, corona white team, pulmonary fibrosis, that would be a bad example. So for example, here we have everything is very simple. It's all basic blocks. And if you go with video call recordings page, like it just, again, a simple list with toggles yeah. and just open any one of them. Yeah. So you can kind of go, okay, here is the video, here is the summary. And uh, so, can you like toggle video as well? So it kind of gets the, the video. So this format, if I export it from Notion, I could have it in HTML format and just upload it on my website anywhere. And it okay. will have the same structure. So uh, you kind gotcha. of see the difference, like simplicity and then portability of the content versus okay. using kind of the coolness of Notion. So exactly like are we going notion beast mode or maybe we just go like this where notion noobs we just gotcha. use this basic toggles etc so it's no, like no I, see, me, I see what you're saying I, right? I see what you're saying so so what so, are your thoughts, uh, so i, I mean it th so the concern is you know uh, what's going to happen in the, in the future and uh it's it's a good point and um i mean if what i would say is um, I, I, you know, we would just need to know from, you know, somebody like you, okay, these are the things that will port over to a website and these are things that mm -hmm. will not. So just do not use the things that are in Markdown or, okay. you know, that, that will not port into HTML. Right. So we can, we can have sort of like a, um, sort of like, okay, a, I'll do that. I'll do that. like a rules and procedure to move forward with things like this. Well, right. So I'll definitely check this out. So here's my question. Like, what decision are we making as like admins of Notion? So do we want to follow the route of only, only use features of Notion that are like this uh, easily exportable and portable to other formats? Oh, I, I like these tables because they bring some structure. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, your simplified form format with toggles is great for like a page, but yes. imagine yeah. there are like 100 calls on different projects. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, and I, you know, I, I don't, I don't have, I don't have very much experience with HTML. It looks like you could still get the information. It would just be a pain in the butt to deal with it later. But, you know, mm -hmm. like, so let's just, so, so, you know, mental exercise a year from now, Notion says you owe us a million dollars. We say, F you, we're leaving. Then we just start using sheets again. You know, we just, I mean, if we want to keep the records, um, then we'll, you know, 
each one of us will have it in our personal account. We just don't have a thousand other members in Corona Y. So we still have access to the data. We just shift back over to using sheets. That's all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I mean, if, if, if you're concerned about it, I, I don't have an issue at all with trying to stick to, you know, uh, or trying to stay away from certain functionality. No, I think um, you should go I, ahead with just, you know, what you're doing because it, it yeah. looks impressive. And honestly, if we can adopt that, and it will start working. Uh, we'll figure out whatever we need in year from so, now. On the level of uh, essentially kind of executing this knowledge organization, I'm, I'm all for it. I'm just kind of only like this abstract level on top of it, like, hmm, yeah. another tool that, uh, you know, we need to figure it out. So um, let's probably do it this way. Uh, do this like ex- not experiments, this is essentially, you're already doing the job of, of organizing this. Uh, then uh, we will see, again, play with it and maybe like see what, what we like, what we don't. But we already uh, today, tomorrow, apply for Notion as a, like this organization to get a free open source team account. And then duplicating all of this work that you do here, Matan, is very easy because, you know, we already did this with the team pulmonary fibrosis. So we, we, if we get a team account from them with this support, then we're kind of like, okay, these guys are nice. The team is great. By the way, the team is actually great. So I expect them for, for, for them to help us in, in this regard. And if we get that access, then I will be all for going notion. But if okay. we don't, we could still use it as like with this tables, right, all right. these features, yeah. because my account, again, like I don't have any card attached to it. And hopefully they will never kind of get, oh, by the way, now you need to pay for it. And then I don't want to kind of, kind of, I guess, downgrade yeah. or something. I mean, even, but, even if it does become an issue, right, and we can't have 1,000, 2,000 members, then, I mean, it, you know, each one of us can go back to, or like I'm totally fine yes, going right. to the team plan and, and spending $8, you know, or even carrying the cost for five of us by myself. You know, it's not a big deal. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I think, I think the fallback is not an issue. Um, you know, I, I, to me, the pros outweigh the potential, yeah. con- the, 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 the um, theoretical cons that we don't even know we'll run into yet. Okay. No, okay. I, I, I like this kind of, uh, this um, plan. Cool, cool. So, and, and you know, it's like, there's one spot for everything, right? If we want to add links, if we want to add files. So, you know, somebody, some, if I, you know, one of us needs to go in and remember something, everything's there. Somebody new comes in, everything's there. It's not like, you know, one piece of information is over here. Another one is the other corner of the earth, right? So it's, it's to me, this is a much better way to try and manage an organization. Okay, guys. So I'm filling out the form. The last piece is, email address associated with organization. Should we use the team at Corona Y? Uh, probably let's do, let's do admin at Corona Y. Okay. Um, so, because like, because G Suite, we need to pay for that stuff, right? Every account. And I'm thinking like, uh, well, the admin team will, is... will always be there as a root account. So just... I mean, five, five bucks is nothing for this. It's so 12. Just... 12 every account on G Suite is 12 that we use. Yeah, let's we'll just use team because this is the one that we can give to people. We sure. cannot give admin to people. Yeah. Okay, well, let, yeah, let's do team. Let's do team okay. on this one. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, I, so I just exported the meetings page and it looks like it creates a table. It's just not interactive as it is in Notion, but in terms of web page, as a static, everything, it works. Great. Okay. So, oh, for example, like the YouTube block is just like a link now, but otherwise it's good. So I think exporting the Notion features, so it's not become, it, it doesn't become a huge mess in the end. It just kind of like, okay, you can do something about this and host it somewhere in a archive way format, I guess. Okay. So I think that is covered. I mean, that's... 
And then, like, actually, you know, like, worst case scenario, and I don't think it's going to happen, but, like, worst, worst case scenario, let's say they do say no free account anymore, we can just create a, a dummy email um, or Gmail account, whatever, uh, mm -hmm. give access to, to, to each page to that email. And then if you're new to Corona Y, we'll give mm -hmm. you the login to that, to that email. Okay. And now you can go in and, and see every page here. So there is like, it's like a, yeah, it's I, a I get silly, your point. Yes. You know? yeah, yeah, it's a, I so, mean, I mean, it, it, solution, wor yeah. worst case scenario, I think there's workarounds. I think for the benefits that this can bring for us right now are, are huge. And mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, let's cross that bridge when we get there, if we have yes. to deal with it. Okay. We'll so it let's uh, apply for team account. And then uh, when we start onboarding people, we will need, let's, let's get the team account and do it there because otherwise if we will add like Alex, Tyler, all of those people right now, when we migrate to there, like moving uh, Notion workspaces will be easy, but members not, you know? So, yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah, no, I, I wouldn't start adding a lot of people until we get, um, yeah. until we get the free account. Yeah, yeah. The, the only reason that I wanted Alex and, and Arthur and uh, Tyler was to, just to, to try this uh, function. Because, I mean, you, got, you know, you guys, you know, this is, you know, you guys are like the board of directors here, right? Like you guys are making decisions. So I just, you know, I, I wanted you guys to, to, to give, give the okay, everybody, you guys are the ones that need to make the decisions and agree that, okay, yes, we're gonna move forward with this, you know, so that's all. So um, but yeah, obviously we, 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 there's no, there's no, it doesn't make sense to start um, onboarding everybody onto this until we have the free account. Um, okay. So, all right, we're signing up for the free account. Um, all right. So number one is good. Um, I was, let's see tables. So I was going to give, a, I guess, a little bit more in depth of what I, of the few things that I learned. Um, but I think for time's sake, um, mm -hmm. we can, we can move on just the, to the next topic and then, yeah. um, oh, you know, when, so regarding but, this thing, uh, if you can essentially just create an onboarding page for, for notion and just yeah. pause the videos that you watched and find useful, that will yep. be great. Totally, so we totally. could, you know, kind of go and, uh, synchronize on that knowledge with you yeah. afterwards. I think Absolutely. it'll be like very productive. Yeah. That, and actually now that I'm looking at it, I'm going to need like a high def, like thumbnail or something because this doesn't look so good anyway um oh i'll yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll i'll play with it like i, I think yeah. i was i was doing this before yeah this is like I, this it's just like there's a lot of cool stuff like it, it, this can, it kind of started to blow my mind when i was looking at it so i think we're gonna have a lot of fun with this i think it's gonna be great for us um so okay um i'll do that and then um, while I have you guys, I, want, I started to dig more into um, uh, under, trying to understand exactly what is happening behind the scenes um, with the literature review uh, dashboard. Um, so obviously right now everything is kind of spread around. Um, what, it, what I believe I've gathered is that uh, the, where'd it go? Um, the task ties output is the the um, only input for the literature review dashboard is that correct? Um, not really. I mean, no. From what it sounds, Mike Honey assembled it from many many different sources. Yes. So okay. if uh, Matan, have you had the chance to look at full literature review pipeline document? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, if you go into stage three, Mike Honey pot for data. Yeah. So this essentially he kind of puts out whatever what what he uses as an input right. for the dashboard. Right. So. Uh, so he uses Task Ties, Kaggle Notebook, but then he also uses a couple of outsiders' work that we will need to essentially port their pipelines onto our infrastructure later on. But again, but we simply don't have a capacity at, at this at this moment. Uh, okay, then yeah. also, uh, Mike himself, he, like I know that he used something from stage one step. Um, no, the, the reason I, I, I ended up at that understanding uh, was from the Kaggle submission. Um, yeah, here. So, 
So, input. So, does this, um, so this data set presents the output from the most recent successful run of notebook corona, um, corona Y task ties. And this is labeled as the input for his, uh, for his notebook, uh, AI powered literature review. That's, that's why I came to that conclusion. Um, but it's okay. So is, and his stuff is not in the uh, Corona Y GitHub repo, correct? So uh, you mean this notebook? Um, what, whatever he's using to generate the dashboard. The yeah, the Microsoft yes. BI is just like Microsoft BI stuff. So uh, what I know, Mike Prani has, so he uses his own compute power that, so essentially you need a Windows server with running power BI like desktop system, whatever. So he covers that. So essentially he takes the data, uh, does his, you know, Power BI magic, and then he exports a Power BI widget that then is hosted on Microsoft Azure, like, I mean, so it's hosted on some Power BI service by Microsoft, and we have a free account there. That's why it's not the fastest and yada, yada. Okay. So, no, I, I was just, I was just trying to, to figure out if I would be able to view his um, um, his scripts, his scripts and his mm -hmm. methods. That's, That's a great question. Um, Maybe uh, so, ask him in oh, the okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, I can I can reach out to him. Yeah, Hold on, I, I, I'm I'm okay. adding you to to uh, Slack channel where we have this type of conversation going. Okay. All right, guys. I have to jump off, but good stuff. Thanks, uh, Matam, for, for going into this notion exploration. Yeah, yes. yeah happy to do it. This uh, right there, so yeah. I'm, 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 I'm taking along. Sure. All right, thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.